Hi everyone, Matt Sosman here. I'm gonna show you how to block the ability to send an instant message or block a chat inside Slack. And so this might be a good use case where you have sensitive data requirements that you do not want that sensitive data to go into Slack. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so in order to do this, we need Slack to be added as an enterprise application in Azure Active Directory. And then we also need Slack to be set up as single sign-on in Azure Active Directory. And once that's ready, we're gonna come down here to conditional access, create a new conditional access policy, and we're gonna scope it to our single user for test purposes here. We're gonna scope it to a single app, Slack, that we just added, no conditions, uh, we're just gonna grant access, and under session, we're gonna check the box for use conditional access app control and select custom policy and save it. And then using Microsoft Cloud App Security, our CASB product, we're gonna create a new uh, session policy here. We're gonna choose block activities, and then we're gonna filter and say, okay, if you're using the app Slack and you try to send a message, right, then Take a look at the text of the message, and if it contains a credit card number or virtually anything you want, then block that activity from happening and create an alert and use a custom message here to do that. And when I do that, it's gonna show up in my activity log here in Cloud App Security as being blocked. And then I'm also gonna get an alert here letting me know that it was blocked. So let's take a look at this in real life and see what happens in a demo. Okay, so here we are inside Slack and I'm signed in through my web browser. Now what I'm about to show you only works in the web browser and that's because we're proxying traffic through a proxy here in a Microsoft data center, actually through Cloud App Security. And you can see that in the domain up here in the address bar. If I'm using a desktop version of Slack, this would not work. However, I can restrict you to only use the web browser version and I can actually block the desktop and mobile version. I have another video out there on that. Okay, so over on another monitor here, I have a uh, fake credit card number that I'm going to copy and then I'm gonna come over here and paste it into Slack. So let me zoom in for you a little bit so you can see this. And we're gonna right click in the message field, choose paste. There's the credit card number. And then when I attempt to send that, boom, stopped my tracks, action has been blocked. There's my custom message. Sensitive data is not authorized for this type of app. Please contact the help desk for more information. And you can see that Slack couldn't send this message. Let's try that again. Right click, paste, hit enter, boom, blocked again. And at this point, this message has not been sent. And if I were to go back to Cloud App Security, you'd see this is an alert like I showed you previously. Okay, folks, well, there you have it. That's how you can block the ability to send sensitive information over a chat in Slack. Now remember, you can only do this with the web browser version, but I can actually have a policy in Cloud App Security that blocks the ability to use the mobile and desktop version of Slack. So just based on your own business requirements. I hope you found value in this. If you have questions, reach out to me on LinkedIn, happy to help. And by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.